The team from Genius Yield have finally launched their alpha testnet of their decentralized exchange on Cardano. And this video will be going through all of the different features on this DEX and looking at why it's different and why it's a little bit unique and some of the really cool things they've put together. Let's get into it. So let's pull up the announcement. This is it here. So two hours ago, they've released their alpha test net. It is live. Only people that were registered for it and were OG. So you had to hold a uh, old uh, OG token that was part of the ISPO. Uh, I was fortunate to be one of those. So I can show you through everything that I need to show you about the decks and why it's a little bit unique. There is a little bit of documentation around this as well, and it will help guide us through the whole test net uh, environment and all these brand new features. So the very first thing that you can notice here is that there is no actual trading price of a particular token here. So I've got some ADA and I'm going to swap this over for some GENS token, some testnet GENS token. I can put in my 100 ADA here and it doesn't tell me straight away what price uh, I'll be getting that token for. So let's say I'm going to swap it for 100 GENS token. So that determines my price. So here I'm actually trading ADA for, for the amount of gens I want to determine the price. So let me delete this here. Let me do it this way. So let's say I want to trade 100 ADA for at that price. It will give me 200 gens tokens. So this is the difference here. This is very much like how Muesli Swap launched in the very first early days where you could do order book orders on their decks and it's the same here where you put your order in at the price that you want for the amount of tokens that you want so here i'm putting in 100 ada for 200 gens at half an ada each cool okay let's have a look at the other details down here so i'll expand the total fees here and you can see application fees set at zero at the moment transaction fee this is the transaction fee that the blockchain will charge you and uh, depending on how large the smart contract uh, script is and also a fill fee. So this is the fee for uh, the market maker. So the liquidity that's on the uh, DEX uh, through the tr other trading pair. And also a deposit. And this is the deposit that you require when trading uh, Cardano assets such as uh, GENS tokens. So I'm going to place that order now. And everything there looks good. I'll just sign this transaction. Now it's important to note that this is all on pre-prod. So if you were going to play around with this, you do need to set up your wallet for pre-prod so you can get access to all of this. There we go, all right. So my order's gone through and this is my order here. So you can see now my order is on the list here and you can see some other orders that I did earlier. So this order is now placed onto the blockchain. It's still pending, it's being submitted at the moment, but it will be placed in with all of these other orders that are happening right now as at the moment. So these are all the other orders in the order book for this particular trading pair at the moment. And now what the DEX is going to do is try and match that up with other orders that are out there that correspond to the price that I've asked for. So there'll be people out there that are trying to sell gens for ADA at a similar price and the DEX is now going to try and match that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swap this around, put some gens and swap this for ADA. Now I put in 200 gens tokens there. So I'm going to, yep, 200 gens at that price. So I should get 100 ADA out of it. There we go. So it's doing my calculations there and I'm going to place my order now. So place that order. So what essentially I'm doing here is I'm going to fulfill my order on the DEX itself. So I'll just sign that transaction and my order be submitted. And we'll have a look at what's actually happening here. So now I've got this order here, which is the opposite to the one that I just submitted here and it's open now. So that means it's on the DEX and now the smart order router, which is one of the novel technologies, which I'll talk about uh, in a moment on the DEX is now going to start looking for uh, an opposite matching order and then match it and pair that up. So while we're waiting for this one to pair and uh, come online, I'll keep that open. We'll have a look at some of this tech around the smart order routing. So this is a one pager that I got from the team and this explains exactly what smart order routing is. So what is it? It's smart order routing is a decentralized off-chain bot that scans, matches and execute orders on Genius Yield order book decks, SRRs, maximize efficiency and speed of trades. So it's a bot. 
It's a script that runs in the background, watches for these trades and executes them to find uh, the trades that are needed to be um, done. So here we now I've got both my uh, trades here that are open. I'm expecting this to update soon. And, oh, there we go, partially uh, filled already. So we can see that um, the bot's gone through and partially filled that order. So it doesn't look like it's actually filled it for mine here. Is the math right? Yeah, I think it's right. I think I did that correctly. So now it's uh, matched that up. I don't know where it's matched it up with, uh, but uh, okay, here we go. So this is where it's from. So another person put in 160 gens at 80 ADA for a two gens price, which is a price I've got there. And it's filled that um, already. So that's cool. Uh, I can watch this live as it happens. Now, because here, I've only asked, I asked for 100 ADA and it's uh, this one here has only got 80 ADA's worth of um, uh, gens. Uh, it's only partially filled. So now it's looking for another order to match that up and it's looking for something around that exact price point. So that's really cool. It's really good to see that uh, happen in the background there. But back to the, my one page document here. So SORs, SORs are open source and anyone can create their own SOR uh, based on the technical documentation published by Genius Yield or create their own SORs from scratch. And we can see this uh, particular announcement here about the SORs and how you can uh, utilize their code anywhere else in the Kadana ecosystem. So all the code is open source. You can start playing around with it and develop and create your own SOR. So back to the documentation here, SORs are not batches. So unlike uh, the other parts of the Kadana ecosystem, MinSwap, Sunday Swap, they all use a batch or an agent, uh, another piece of off-chain infrastructure that does all this. And those batches do take fees. Uh, and in doing so, some of these transactions do get costly. And you can see now with uh, DEXs or DEX aggregators such, DEX Hunters DEX aggregator, with that when you're utilizing it and trading against multiple different DEXs all at the same time, we're seeing these uh, batch of fees really add up. So uh, to have another DEX out there without batch of fees is really cool. and it will create a lot more capital efficiency in people's trades. Now, the last point here, the SORs make arbitrage profits from bid and ask spreads. SORs can't change the, the, change the order price that was set by the user. So that's where the SORs uh, come into play and uh, are profitable because it's a script. It will use computing power. So pretty cool. And let's see if my orders have been filled up yet. So not yet. So this is one of the downsides to what you probably experience on other decentralized exchanges. When you're fulfilling orders on a DEX like MinSwap, you're in a liquidity pool. And that pool allows you to execute your transaction and swap immediately because there's already that available liquidity in there. And then you can take advantage of that and uh, have your swap done. The downside to that is that you suffer from something called impermanent loss, where the values of those tokens will fluctuate over time. So as a liquidity provider, when I'm providing ADA and GENS tokens to a AMM, Automatic Market Maker Liquidity Pool, I will suffer from that impermanent loss. And it's sometimes a risk that you don't want to take. This here allows you to provide liquidity, provide the, the swapped assets uh, when you're doing so, but you don't suffer from that impermanent loss because you're not uh, having that asset in the pool itself and having that uh, value of those assets change over time and your assets locked into the pool. Your assets are locked into this order book order uh, when you execute the order. So you can pull that out and cancel that at any point in time. So pretty cool. So let's have a look at some of these more advanced features on the decks. So now let's do a swap for another 100 ADA. Well, let's be a little bit different so I can see the difference here. Let's go 110 ADA for another token and we'll try this LenFi token. And let's set a quite a low price. Let's go 200. There we go. Now, if I click on advanced settings here and expand that out, I can see a whole bunch of new things that other DEXs don't have. The very first obvious one here is time to force. Now this is the ability to set a date for when this order will be executed. So now I can say in the future, if I'm looking at the charts and, uh, uh, and making a prediction, I can say on the 18th to the 25th of October, 
I know that the price will change in my favor that I've set um, in the uh, swap screen before. So now I want to execute my order in that time frame. Now, the other thing interesting down here is the maximum allow fills. So this is a way to optimize your trade based on the amount of uh, 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 partial fills that may happen. So a little bit earlier, I showed you that partial fill. So that was one allowed fill. And now I might need another one or two or three or four to make the rest of that happen. So if you want only your order to be filled by large transactions, you can have this uh, order max allow fills lower. If you don't mind it being filled by many different smaller orders, you can have this at a higher amount and have your order filled by lots of small uh, batched orders together. So it's a recommendation of two, but you can choose and change that. Now, if you do change that to something higher, you will notice your fees go up. Let's have a look at that. So before my total fee was quite low, but now look at my deposit fee here. My deposit fee is now set to 12. And this is because each one of those transactions, those fill transactions will require deposited ADA to move that, uh, that asset, the LendFi asset. So every time you move a Cardano native token, you need to have a little bit of ADA with it. So now that I'm setting it to six, fill orders, six times two is 12. So I need that deposit of two ADA for each order that I do. So that's why my deposit amount is so much higher than it was before. But I'm gonna go with that and place my order. Everything looks good, let's place that order and I'll sign the transaction. And we are set, great. So let's check all my view orders here. There we go, it's pending, so that will go up in a moment. And I, I can now see my other order here that has been filled. But my order here, my open order for uh, ADA to GENS is still open, maybe because that price isn't uh, desirable for people trying to trade on the DEX at the moment. So pretty interesting feature there, being able to set the advanced features for one, setting the date of when I want this order executed, and then the maximum amount of interactions with my order as well, with a maximum of eight and a recommended of two. Really cool, interesting features there that the team are bringing out. Now, if I want to actually cancel that order that I put in there for the Lend5 token, I can hover over my transaction. You couldn't see it because it was a little bit wide, but I can scroll across and click on the little X icon here. And that will allow me to remove my order from the order book. So I'll, I will do that. I'll click on remove order and execute that transaction. So then now I'll get all those assets back, uh, the deposit that I put in as well. There we go sign that transaction and we're done. So now that is transaction is being submitted to the blockchain and it's being canceled and I'll be receiving those assets back. So now if you actually want to purchase something directly from the order book, you can. And what I'll do is I'll use my ADA here because I've got plenty of it and I'm gonna buy GENS directly on the order book. So now that I've selected ADA and GENS, I can click on the icon here, the order book link in the top right hand corner. And this brings up all of the different orders that are available on the DEX at the moment. Okay, so now I've got the order book up and running. So I want, let's see here, I do wanna get GENS, not ADA. So I wanna buy GENS and see how much I wanna buy here. So I can do a partial order of this. So I'm gonna buy a, a portion from this price here at 0 0.75 gens. Might not be the best price, but I'll just do this one as an experiment. So amount of gens I want to buy, let's say it's 100 gens. Oh, okay. Now I can't do 100 because this uh, order here may have a certain amount of uh, maximum amount of fields that it can do. So I have to go for the minimum here. All right, so now I've chosen the minimum. That all looks good to me. Let's go preview. So I need 833.33 uh, ADA to get that amount of gens. Okay, let's place that order. Now it's interesting I had that minimum amount and I really think it's because of that maximum amount of fills that the order can do. So if it uh, was any smaller, then it would require more fills to actually fill the order. So let's go sign and process that transaction through. And there we go, great. So now I should be able to see that on my orders list. 
There we go. And that is now pending. It'll be uh, pushed through very soon. Oh, I can see my previous order that I did earlier today is partially filled now. So it's partially filled at 50%. So that will go through and I'll see the rest of that done very soon. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I can show you on the decks at the moment uh, or the features that they're released in this particular alpha testing phase. We don't have pools at the moment. So we can't uh, play around with the liquidity pools on the decks. Um, I don't know if, uh, when that particular feature is coming and the earn platform is already live already so if you are on the uh, genius yield website you'll be able to stake your various uh tokens here we've got gens and maker emp and ntx tokens that you can stake on the platform already and you do get that extra boosting rewards if you have those various nfts staked with your assets as well yield farming isn't available yet either okay so that's all we have for genius yield at the moment on the alpha test net pretty interesting to see another order book style decks come out there and i think we will see another one come out very soon too and these type of mechanics to be able to program your orders with a start and end time and various prices that you want to trade at. Looking forward to what the Genius Yield team bring out. If you liked this video, if you want to find out more, please give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell. There is a lot of documentation, video tutorials also on our learncardano.io website. So please make sure you check that out too. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast Gotta get it hype, crypto is what we like But this is not investment or financial advice Gotta do your research, cause it's risky, we know it is This show is educational and it's informative Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate